So good morning or good afternoon. So I'd just like to talk about the products that we have within our Keysight umbrella. We have the SOS product, which is our flagship design management tool that helps engineers manage all types of design data. Then we have Hub, which is our IP management system that can actually lay over on top of SOS and other design management systems to catalog and help you reuse your IP across your enterprise. And then thirdly, we have the VDD, which is the Visual Design Div tool that does an amazing job in helping engineers highlight differences in their design objects, such as schematics or their layouts. And this is built on top of the Cadence Virtuoso in platform. Now, each tool by itself does a fabulous job, but together they provide a very powerful IP and project centric way of managing design data. But for this presentation today, we'll be talking about Hub. And as John had mentioned, this is a very intro introductory presentation on Hub. And if you would like to hear more information, please reach out to your account manager. So what let's talk about our complete solution. So Ford, we, we have a for our design data and IP management. Well, we start off with EDA tools and then we integrate SOS, which helps teams with collaboration. Now on top of that, we then integrate Hub and this helps with the enterprise collaboration. Now, we are partnered with all major EDA vendors and have native integrations between ClearSoft tools and our EDA partners. To, together, we do provide one cohesive system to manage all types of hardware design. Cadence has been a long-standing partner of ours since the year 2000, and we have a lot of customers using the Cadence Virtual sort of Flow. Now, sometimes due to acquisitions and other reasons, customers may move from one flow to another. For example, you may be using a synopsis flow and then you switch to a cadence flow or vice versa. And just want to let you know how important it is to our customers that ClearSoft can help you regardless of what design tools you're using. So let's dive into Hub and see what it does and how it can help you. Now, Hub is partitioned into three parts or three components. We have the IP management, where here we can manage the IP and its use or reuse. Then we have a project collaboration. Now, under project collaboration, we have a dashboard of all your designs. And here you can see what IPs are being used in the project and what, for example, documentation is used with the project as well. The project dashboard also provides a feed from external tools, such as issue tracking software, documentation management systems, continuous integration, you know, for example, Jenkins, maybe to name a few. And then thirdly, we have our I, the IP traceability. For example, where is the IP being used? Now, this component was being created specifically from a management point of view. Now, Hub provides a central IP management interface. It provides users with a single source for all IP and projects across your enterprise. It will be the place where all meta information on the entities will reside, but the actual content of your IPs can reside directly in design data management systems of all types. Now, Hub plays well with other design management systems, as you can see here. We have customers using Hub with Git, Subversion, Perforce, and of course, SOS. Even if you have no data management system in your place, for example, the data resides on a server or disk, as long as it's made visible to Hub, Hub can manage the data and grant access to who may need it. Now, providing a catalog you know, means we need to make it easy for end users to find the assets they are interested in. So Hub is a web-based solution that allows users to easily launch a web client from any operating system anywhere around the world to find that relevant information. Users can browse through the catalog to find the IP. They can do a keyword search with advanced parameter searches to find the IP, which can be relevant to their projects. Let's say you find a couple of IPs that you like. They can even You can even do a a comparison to identify the differences. Now, once the user finds the right IP, 
they can view the details of the IP, engage the technical merits of its assets. Not only view technical details, but you can also gauge the quality based on previous usage information. Now, another aspect of IP cataloging is the tracking. Complete dependency is tracked in Hub, including its sublogs. For example, if you're using multiple configurations of an IP, this can be easily tracked. And another example could be, where is it actually being used? Or if it is in fact being used at all. It's integrated with bug tracking software. The most common ones we see is Jira or Bugzilla, and this can be tracked through the design hierarchy. We also have what's called a knowledge base or forum, which can facilitate communication between the factory users or IP providers. For example, how should the IP be configured? Now, every hub asset has a dedicated forum which captures any important communication the engineers may have specific to that asset. This way we know how the asset grows and, and we can maintain this in a single system instead of being scattered across multiple email threads or tools. Now within Hub, there are various hierarchical reports and multiple tiers of information which is available to the engineer. We have IP consumers, for example, what projects are using the IP, what are the other subsystems using the IP projects, and as mentioned, hierarchical visibility is maintained within the various reports. Now for the bill of materials, we may want to know what blocks or sub-blocks make use of the IP. And as before, we mentioned we have issue tracking software. Again, this can be managed through the design hierarchy. Documentation tracking is also available. Items such as specification guides and spreadsheet. In addition to that, users and consumers can be tracked too. As we mentioned, we talked about the project dashboard. Hub provides the enterprise with a dashboard. Now, just want to make you aware, this is not a replacement of the project management system you may have already in your enterprise. Now, the goal of Hub is to maintain a relationship of the Hub assets the pro and, and the project it's using, for example, IP and documentation. It can become a homepage for the user to log into and find out any relevant information about the project. Just like the forum and knowledge base around the IP, the functionality is extended to the project as well. And lastly, it provides engineers with a news feed with alerts related to the project and the assets it's utilizing. Now, all these functions come with management oversight. There are access controls so you can protect who can access the IP content and the metadata. For example, you may have to want to avoid ITAR violations. Traceability reports can allow the user to track the usage of the resource. And then also we have Hub provides reports which can be useful for third party audits. Some vendors require customers, for example, to provide quarterly reports on usage, not only at the project level, but also on the number of object instances. So instead of manually tracking this information, you can let Hub maintain it for you. Now, in this example, we, we, we're showing in a couple of examples of customized workflows. Here, we have a series of steps a user may need to follow before or after an action takes place. I have two examples I like to show. On the left-hand side, we have a typical third-party IP. So let's walk through this example. Now, before being able to use it, you may need to first sign a licensing agreement before using it. Once it's signed off, use of it may need to be reviewed and approved. This process can be automated or manually driven. Now, similarly, if you want to publish an IP, you may want to run an automated flow. As an example, is the IP lint clean? Does it meet design rule checks? Again, someone may need to sign off on the IP usage, such as a manager or a project lead. If, for example, no sign off is needed, you know, this step can be skipped very easily. Again, it can be set up automatically or manually. And here I just wanted to talk 
a few examples of a custom flow. Hub is very flexible. Now let's talk about how we import data into Hub. Being a catalog, importing data of the various formats can be a challenge. However, we have developed techniques to help aid this process. First of all, we have a user-driven format, which is either web-based or command line. We also can do it via an Excel spreadsheet. You generate a comma-separated list. We also have developed a web crawler, which can literally mean, as the name implies, crawl through your enterprise and retrieve the data. And then finally, we can import data from other management and design tools. Now consider Hub as a central ecosystem where it is connected to an assortment of other systems. It works well with SOS because we developed it as, and it is seemingly integrated with it, and it works well with other third-party systems and non-DM system environments as well. Hub is connected to design management systems such as SOS and other DMs. It's also connected to issue tracking software. We can also perform document management. We also have a REST API and we have a direct integration with Cadence Virtuoso. And I will be showing you that on my very next slide. And we also can connect through APIs to various enterprise software. Now, as mentioned, this uh, next slide, and it's my final slide, talks about the integration with uh, Cadence Virtuoso. ClearSoft, which is now Keysight, has been integrated with uh, Cadence products for the last 25 years, and we have a great relationship with them. And we have developed a direct integration to Hub. It's directly integrated through the library manager, where a com an engineer can browse the IP and connect to the project dashboard. Engineers can publish libraries or hierarchies directly into Hub without having to copy the content and tar it up for publishing manually. And if the IP is authorized to be used by the user, they can download it directly into their Cadence Virtuoso session. With this capability, we're just trying to make it easy for the user to access and share their work with the rest of the community. And that concludes my very short introduction into Hub. As mentioned, if you are interested, please reach out to your account manager.